Hey guys, good morning and welcome in Apala Online Patshala where we make you wake up and fly. I am your mentor Anurag and today I have brought a very interesting poem, My Mother at 66 from the textbook Flamingo of class 12th written by Kamla Das. So here in this video we shall go through the detailed explanation of the poem, its poetic devices and important questions. So, what are you waiting for? Let's begin. Before going through the poem, let's have a glance about the poet of this poem, Kamla Das. Kamla Das was born in Punyarkulam in Malabar district of Kerala. She is recognized as one of India's foremost poets. Her works are known for their originality, versatility, and the indigenous flavor of the soil. The word indigenous stands for something that belongs to one own country. Kamla Das has published many novels and short stories in English and Malayalam under the name Madhvi Kutti. Madhvi Kutti is her pen name. When a writer is not using his or her original name for his writings, that is called pen name. Some of her works in English include the novel Alphabet of Lust, a collection of short stories, Padmavati, The Harlot and other stories, in addition to five books of poetry. She is a sensitive writer who captures the complex subtleties of human relationship in lyrical idiom in the poem My Mother at 66. So this poem is a very beautiful example of her craftsmanship. As the title of the poem reveals that it is an autobiographical poem by Kamala Das telling about her own mother who had grown old. This poem explains the complexities of life at an old age. So let's see what message is conveyed in this poem by Kamala Das. Aging is a natural process and it will affect each one of us. The complexity of life is that Children are perturbed by the condition of their parents and wish to with them. The word perturbed means embarrassed. So, the children are usually embarrassed with the aging of their parents and they always want to be with their parents. However, they have to leave their parents behind and move on with their commitments. The question arises how to strike a balance between looking after the aging parents and attending our duties and responsibilities. So it is clear that this poem explains the complexity of our lives when our parents are grown old and we want to serve them, we want to uh, do services for them. But we have our own responsibilities towards our life and we have to move ahead. So, this is the duality we all have in our minds and this poem reveals all these things very beautifully. Figure of speeches are the elements or poetic devices which are used in the poems to beautify it. In your previous classes, you have learned about many of them. Let's see what are the poetic devices used by Kamla Das in this poem. The first one is simile. Simile is a word or phrase that compares something to something else using the words like or as. For example, her face is faded like dry well. The second is metaphor. It is a word or phrase that is used in an imaginative way to show that somebody or something has the same qualities as another thing. For example, life is not a bed of roses. This is a fine example of metaphor. The third one is personification. It is a figure of speech in which a thing, an idea or an animal is given human attributes. The non-human objects are portrayed in such a way that we feel they have the ability to act like human beings. For example, moon smiles and blushes behind the veil. In this sentence, moon is personified with the attributes smile and blushes. In this poem, Kamala Das has also used some imageries and repetition. 
Dear students, now let's see the text and explanation of the poem, My Mother at 66. Driving from my parents' home to Cochin last Friday morning, I saw my mother beside me, doze, open mouth, and her face ashen like that of a corpse. So the poet says that it was last Friday morning when she was going to Cochin in her own car and the poet was driving the car. Her mother was also with her. She was sitting beside her. While driving the car, the poet suddenly noticed her mother who was sitting beside her. Her mother was an old woman of 66. Her face was dull and wrinkled. The poet saw that her mother was dozing. Her mouth was open and her face was dull like a corpse. Her face was ashen like that of a corpse. Seeing her mother in such a condition, the poet says, I realized with pain that she was old as she looked but soon put that thought away. So in this way we can say that seeing her mother, the poet suddenly realized that her mother has grown old not only old but terribly old and she suddenly realized a childhood fear that she is going to lose her mother because if her mother has grown old very soon she is going to die this thought terrifies the poet and she tries to put away these evil thoughts the growing age of the mother terribly scared the poet and she thought that very soon she would lose her mother forever. To put these evil thoughts away from her mind, she looked out of the car and she saw young trees sprinting, the married children spilling out of their homes. So when she looked out of the car, she noticed the young trees which were moving speedily with the speed of car. Actually, the trees were not moving, but it was an illusion when the car is moving ahead. She noticed that the trees were moving behind. And there were some children also who were spilling out of their homes. They were playing in the sand. The imageries used by the poet are young trees printing and merry children spilling out of their homes. They present a contrast to the growing age of poet's mother. On one hand, there is poet's mother who was dull and without any excitement. While the young trees signify that life is a continuous process. It never stops for anyone. And the married children faces are full of excitement and energy. While on the other hand, the poet's mother is quite dull and faded away. The poet was successful to wipe away the evil thoughts from her mind for some time. She reads the Cochin airport and she says that after the airport security check, standing a few yards away, I looked again at her. Wan, pale, as a late winter's moon and felt that old familiar ache, my childhood's fear. The poet says, that at the airport, after the security check, she again looked at her mother's face. Her mother's face was as dull, wan and pale like a late winter's moon. The simile used here signifies that her mother's face was so dull like a moon in a late wintry night. Seeing her mother's face the old familiar ache, the old familiar pain, the old familiar fear again emerged in her mind. She again realized that she is going to lose her mother. She realized that her mother would die as she had grown terribly old. But the poet didn't want to show her feelings to her mother. She didn't want to show her fear to her mother. She did not want that her mother would know that she is scared of losing her. So she says that all I said was, see you soon, Amma. 
all i did was smile and smile and smile so while departing from her mother the poet did not say anything except see you soon amma kamla das was sunk in hope to see her mother again when she would return she tried to hide her fear she tried to hide her emotions behind her smile so the word smile is repeated here smile and smile and smile so dear students this was a short poem by kamla das it was an autobiographical poem where she had explained where she had pictured her own mother in front of us now here are some figure of speeches used in this poem you can see these figure of speeches in the text like simli is used in the line face ashen like of a corpse and in as a late winter's moon in both these lines like and as are used personification used in the line where the trees are described as printing metaphor is used in the line where the children are described as spilling out of their homes and the repetition is used in the concluding lines of the poem where the poet says all i did was smile and smile and smile now let's see some difficult words from this poem by kamla das those it means sleeping like ashen that means old and withered corpse it means the dead body remember students for the dead body of human beings the word corpse is used but for the dead body of animals or any other objects the word carcass is used the next word is sprinting and it means a speedily running the next word is spilling it means playing with clay out of homes and the last difficult word is wan that means dull and colorless my dear students in this video i have also included the summary of this poem so that you can understand this poem in a much better way so go through this summary on your own and try to understand the basic theme of this poem dear students now here are some questions and their answers based on the comprehension of this poem my mother at 66 read these questions and try to learn the answers of these questions write them in your notebooks also in the end of this video some questions are also provided for your practice read them thoroughly and write the answers of those questions in your notebooks too hope you all enjoyed this video very much and understood the poem quite well see you soon with another interesting video till then keep smiling and keep learning bye bye